That's Aunt Rose that lived in this house, and this is Filomino. On a Thanksgiving night, it was a real bad storm in 1946. He was called to go work. It was a real bad night. And I went downstairs, and I begged him, don't go tonight. It's a bad night. You're at my house. I can sell you were at home. Well, he insisted. He thought he had to go when I think he was called to go. He was kind of a cute little humble soul. And he went. Before you knew it, she came up and she said something happened to Filomena. And that night he was sideswiped by a train. That's the kind of work that they did. That they had to go do this work. So then Uncle Filomino was shipped to New York and that's where he was buried then. She went for about three months, and she begged us to take her back. And so we took care of her. Then we fixed an upstairs at 472 for her little apartment, and that's where she lived then until she died. We had our own entrance, and Mickey had hers. We was the only Irish. They were all Italian. When our son was born there in February, she took care of him while I worked. Mickey used to feed him spaghetti at five months. She babysit him and feed him at lunchtime, she fed him spaghetti instead of whatever, because they were Italians and they ate spaghetti. My husband? Oh, I, I met him in 1930. I was only about 18, 19. I met his mother, and then one time I was there for a dinner. She had Italian food, you know, regular Italian food. She was a wonderful cook. She set the table, you know, very fancy and everything. I mean, she always did it that way, even when she didn't have company. When I first walked in there, he told his mother, that's the girl I'm going to marry. I didn't say anything because I didn't know how she'd respond, you know. I didn't say nothing. His mother told me that the Tanucci family, when they love somebody, they really love them got to make sure that I love him too. And that's true. He was the most lovable man.